Some people say that ethics is a nothing but a conversation about competing conceptions of the good, while others say that it makes existence possible. Imagine ethics as the rules of the game you're playing. Every game, profession, culture has its own set of rules that define what's considered fair play. These rules are there to ensure things run smoothly and everyone understands what's expected. Morality, on the other hand, is your personal compass. It's your internal sense of right and wrong, influenced by your values and beliefs. It's like your gut feeling about what's the right thing to do in a situation. A situation where Joe is a government employee, leaks some documents and believes the government's mass surveillance programs are wrong because they invade people's privacy is something we are familiar with. This belief stems from his own moral compass, which values individual freedom and privacy. But as a government employee, Joe had a signed agreement to keep classified information confidential and leaking them was a violation of his professional ethics, even if his intentions were good. Ethics is usually divided into three major fields. Meta-ethics, which is the study of ethics itself. Normative ethics, which studies what we ought to do and what constitutes right and wrong actions or behaviors and applied ethics, which involves taking principles from meta-ethics and normative ethics and applying them to real-life situations. A noteworthy point is that continental philosophy tackles ethics by presenting a grand narrative, a broader perspective that shapes our understanding of right and wrong by formulating a worldview into a coherent system. An analytic philosophy takes a step-by-step -step approach where instead of a grand theory, there's a focus on meticulously analyzing specific concepts like what is good or what is justice, where you will get specific abstracts and papers. Armchair theorizing alone cannot provide deep insights into the world. Theory must be derived from and grounded in observation. Our theories are models that predict what experiences we should expect, but we formulate those theories based on past empirical evidence and experiences. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.